we're getting kind of diving into some harder words today. So be gentle with yourself if these are difficult. Count how many sounds are in the word elephant. That's a hard one. Now, before you even do it, all three of these words today have L in it. Yeah. And that is on purpose. That is to help you to separate the E from the UL, which is hard for not a lot of people. So when you're going to sound, count how many sounds are in elephant and elbow and shell, make sure you separate the E from the UL. How many sounds in elephant? Put it in the chat. All right, so far every single answer is different <laughs> that I'm getting in the chat. This is a hard one. If you re let me see. Every single sound except the last one is stretchable, meaning you can hang on to it, you can maintain it and really stretch out that word. If we really stretched out that word, it would sound like this. Elephant. There are seven sounds in there. Here's what they are. E, O, E, F, A, N, T. That schwa, A uh, is going to be hard to hear. And then make sure you separate that E from the O. E, O, E, F, A, N, T. Seven sounds in elephant. E, O, E, F, A, N, T. Okay. Um, yeah, if you didn't get that one, hopefully you can get it, say it with me as I say, as I say them correctly so that you can hear where those separations are. Okay, let's try the next one. How many sounds in elbow? Remember to separate the F from the O. How many sounds in elbow? I don't care about the letters. I could care less about the letters right now. We're just focusing on sounds because if you can isolate each sound within a word, then you can attach the correct letter to it to spell it correctly. Sounds are first, letters are second. Okay, so on elbows, we have e, o, b, o. E, o, b, o. Four sounds in elbow. Okay, so how many sounds in shell? Shell. This will be really easy if you concentrate on the shape of your mouth. How many times is your mouth changing shape? That's how many sounds there are. Nice. Yay. Yay. Nice, everyone. Okay, so shell has sh, e, o, sh, e, o, three sounds. Okay, let's get started. So the rule for today. So A is a kind of a, a monster letter. There's a lot of rules for A, um, but they're learnable. This rule for A is when A comes at the very beginning or toward the beginning. Usually it's going to be the very first letter. It will change to the schwa sound and say a uh, if there is another vowel two doors down. So I'll say that again two different times, two different ways. A will say a uh, if there is another vowel two doors down, if it's at the beginning of the word. So one more time, A will change to the schwa sound and say a uh, if it's at or toward the beginning and there's another vowel two doors down. Here's a whole bunch of examples in the chat. You'll notice that the A is saying a. Uh. Okay, all of those A's are saying a uh, because it's at or toward the beginning and there is a vowel two doors down. This schwa sound is just that lazy sound. Your jaw is just hanging open. Uh, it's the laziest sound you can make. That's what sound that A is making. Here's one other thing I want you to know for today and this might be new. 
Oh, I think it will be new for everybody. I don't think I've taught this before. A schwa will never be in the accented syllable. So if, if you have a two syllable word and the first letter or the like a go, two syllables, a go, that schwa is never going to be in the unaccent in the accented syllable. It's always going to be said a little softer. And the other part is going to be said stronger. The other part of the word will have the accent, like away, a go, adopt, adore, apart. So the A will never be said stronger than the rest of the word if it's a schwa. That's kind of important to keep in mind as we're reading these nonsense words today. Okay, so let me do this first one with you. Go ahead and do it on your own also if you'd like to follow along with me. So here's that A at the very beginning. It's going to be making the schwa sound. The symbol for schwa is an upside down E because there is a vowel two doors down. This A is going to be saying ah because there's always a because, almost always, because the next two letters are consonants. This A is going to be making its long sound because of the tap two rule. There is another vowel one or two doors down. Plus, we know that the AY says A. So these three A's in the same word, you guys, you now know something that 99% of the population does not know. You, they would not be able to tell you why an A would say three different things in the same word, but now you do. This A says a uh, because there's a vowel two doors down and it's at the beginning. This A says, says a uh, because the next two letters are consonants. This says this A says a uh, because there's a vowel one or two doors down. So now when I tap the sounds, I have a, uh, d, a, uh, p, a. I know that that syllable is not going to be accented. It's going to be this second one. Adape, adape, adape. This little mark means it's accented, adape. Okay, if this second syllable is also accented on your word, just keep that in mind and I'll be quiet while you work out the sounds. All right, so we know that A says a uh, because then there's it's at the beginning and there's a vowel two doors down. We know this A says a uh, because there's not another vowel one or two doors down. We know this A says a uh, because there is a vowel one or two doors down. Now, if you're kind of new to class and that sounds complicated, don't worry. That's called the tap two rule. There's some um, videos for you in the modules in the training modules if you want to get really familiar with that we're going to do the tap two rule in every single class so it won't take long for you to get real used to that tap two rule oh Valerie I want to talk to you about your daughter's name she sent me a, um, a, a comment her daughter's name starts with an, an a let me I want to talk to you that about that a little later Okay, so the sounds are a, uh, t, a, uh, f, a, a taffe, a taffe. This accent is right here, so it said stronger. A taffe, a taffe. Okay. All right, I'm getting a couple nods. Let's go to number two. I'm going to clear this so it's a little less messy. Okay, so this A says a uh, because it's at the beginning and there's a vowel two doors down. By the end of this class, you're going to know that rule pretty well because I'm going to say it a lot. This A says A because there's a vowel one or two doors down. Same with this one. It says A because there's a vowel one or two doors down. This is a vowel team that says A. This is a vowel team that says A. So the sounds are a. Uh, 
a n d a if this is accented then it's a rain day a rain day just like exactly what it sounds i'm having a rain day right outside a rain day okay let's try yours i'll be quiet while you work Now, you're, when you're saying that first A, I don't want your mouth big, wide, and round. I want it just hanging there. It's a very lazy sound. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So instead of ah, say ah, uh, like ago, adopt. So the sounds are, we know this A says, well, we know this A says ah, uh, because it's at the beginning and there's a vowel two doors down. We know this A says A because there is a vowel one or two doors down. That's the tap two rule. And we know this A says A because there is a vowel one or two doors down. Again, the tap two rule. So the sounds are A, uh, P, A, N, S, A. A pain say. A pain say. A pain say. Now, these words are a lot harder than the words that we had just on Monday. So I'd like for you to put a comment in the chat, just a word in the chat to let me know how you're feeling on these harder words and this more difficult rule today. <laughs> wow, nice, okay. Nice. Hey, you guys, how are you? How are you getting this so well? This is supposed to be hard, you guys. You must be smarter than the average bear. Okay, let's do number four. I'll go first. So I know this A says a uh, because there is a vowel two doors down and it's at the beginning. I know this A says a uh, because the next two letters are consonants. Okay, well, let's do four since I'm on it and then I'll go back to three. Thank you. And I know this A says a uh, because A's at the end always say a. Uh. That's one of my favorite rules because I don't know one word where that rule is broken. A at the end says a. Uh. That's it. A at the end says a. Uh. Easy. You can impress all your friends with that. A at the end says a. Uh. Okay, so the sounds are a, uh, p, a, n, d, a. Uh. A panda. A panda. Now, if you'll notice, there is a schwa at the beginning and a schwa at the end. Neither of those syllables, there's a, this is a three syllable word. You can tell how many syllables are in a word by how many vowels are not touching. There's three vowels in here and they're not touching, so you know it's a three syllable word. Syllable is that medium chunk of sound within a word. This one's a schwa, this one's a schwa. So they do not have a choice to be accented. This is your only choice. That's why it said stronger right there in the middle. A panda, a panda. Okay, go ahead and do your number four. So this sound and this sound, the first and the last letter should sound exactly the same. Good. So the sounds are uh, s, a, n, p, a. Uh. A san, pa. A san, pa. How, how, 
was that one? I'm getting I'm getting some scratched heads on that one. But let's try number three. Let's try number three. Yeah, we need the definition. <laughs> <laughs> a sand put sounds like I don't even know. Mystery vegetable. Okay, number three. So this A says a uh, because there's a vowel two doors down and that A is at the beginning. This A says a uh, because the next two letters are consonants. This A says a uh, because it's at the end. So I know that the accent is on this middle syllable. And I also know it's a three syllable word because there's three vowels not touching. So the sounds are a, uh, o, a, uh, s, a. Uh. Alaska, Alaska sounds a lot like Alaska, just without the k. Alaska, Alaska. All right, let's try yours over here. Okay, make sure your first and last sounds are pronounced exactly the same. They should be the exact same sound. So this first is a, uh, r, a. Uh. Hopefully, I know my screen is small right now, but hopefully you can see the difference in my mouth shape on those. A, uh, r, a, uh, m, a. Uh. A uh, ram, uh. accented in the middle. A uh, ram. Uh. A rama. Um, Erica, you can't see the words. Um, Erica, feel free. I mean, did it just? I'm not sure why you can't see the words, Erica. Can you see my screen? Feel free to unmute. And Valerie, what do you mean, your question, why do you put the number two on it? Oh, are you talking about like this because they look like a number two? Probably. So that's just um, me being sloppy. It should look, let me see what she said here. Yeah, okay. It should look like an upside down E, not a two. And that's because an upside down E is the symbol for the schwa sound. And the schwa sound is a. Uh. So when you're marking this on your paper, to make it to make it upside down E, you go back, down, up, and around. Back, down, up, and around. Rowan. Yeah, they actually look more like like A's to me. I know they're kind of funky looking, huh? Um, okay, I want to know in the chat how you're doing on these last on these last two. Okay, if you'd like to read with me, put your name in the chat.